Okay, we are doing our best coronavirus drawing. All right, hopefully you have already Google imaged um, coronaviruses. And I am going to be going over all of the grading criteria in this video. Okay, so um, the first criteria is that you need a frame. Your frame can look anything like you want it to, okay? Next, we are gonna be creating the illusion of space. You can refer to the April 7th uh, drawing prompt if you can't remember what that means. So we're going to lay out at least three spheres to begin with and I'm going to lay out a partial really big one because I want this to be the virus that's closest to me okay and the viruses have like a sphere shaped main body. Okay and then I'm going to make another one I'm thinking right about here. Not quite as close to the viewer and then this one I think I'll make one here that's going behind this guy. Maybe another one over here. Just there. You're gonna need at least three. I have four here, okay? So this one is the closest. This one looks like it's the furthest away. And this one is somewhere in the middle. Foreground, middle ground, and background. That's what we're looking for to create the illusion of space. That's worth five points, okay? Now, your next step is to show me the close-up details of the virus on at least one of the sphere. So it makes sense to do that on your largest sphere because that will be the easiest. And the one that's the largest, the viewer would be able to see the details. The photo that I'm looking at has these little tubular guys with flat tops sort of going around the side and well, really all over the body of the, the virus, which is shaped like a sphere, like I said. So I'm doing these little tubular things, okay? All right, and when they are sort of closest to me right here, I really only see the tops of them. So I'm gonna go like this. All right, I'm rushing here because I don't want you to have to spend too much time on this video. So please forgive this drawing, okay? I don't want you to rush, okay. Now, um, the next criteria says that we need to see just a few hints of the virus details on at least one of the other spheres in the background, okay? All right, so I'm going to do a few hints of these tubular guys. They're gonna be a little smaller because this is a smaller sphere, all right? And I'm not gonna do them all the way around because it says just a few hints of the details. Okay, I'll put a few of these little tubular guys here looking like it's going in front of that sphere because that's gonna help me with my illusion of space also, okay? All right, we'll put like maybe a cluster of these little guys here. All right, now I'm done with that. And re remember, I'm not adding any value right now because I'm laying out my drawing. Okay, now it's time for value, okay? The next criteria says you need a value scale on the sphere portion of your virus. So the sphere portion is the circle, the, the ball portion of your virus, okay? Now remember back to your April 6th drawing prompt, we were adding value to a sphere and you had to decide which side the pretend light source was coming from. You need to decide that here as well. My light source is gonna come from this side, which means I'm gonna be adding my value scale to the sphere portion from here. Okay, it's gonna be the darkest on this side and it's gonna get lighter as I go towards the pretend light source. So first I'm, I'm gonna add one light value to the entire sphere. And once again, I'd like you to do a better job than I'm doing, okay? Because I'm trying to make this video not too long for you. Let's pretend that this light value is filled in very, very nicely all around these little tubular things, okay? So this is my lightest value, and I'm gonna need a medium value. I know that we did a value scale with five values in your April 6th drawing prompt, but I'm only gonna require three values from here, from you, um, for this particular project. You can give me more if you want, okay? So this medium value is not gonna go all the way over here. I did a little bit of mistake right there. Shouldn't have gone quite so far, but I'll fix that. This, could, this medium value should be a little bit 
darker so I can see the difference between the medium value and the light value. Okay. Hopefully you can see it. And then my darkest value, once again, I'm gonna add it over here. It's probably gonna stop right about here. And you have to come up a little closer to those little tubes or whatever it is that you guys have in your drawing. Some of them, some of them look like they have these little like, um, I don't know, like triangles on the top or something. They're kind of cool. Depends on what you choose for your photo. Okay. Okay. Now, I'd like to see a value scale just as nice as the ones you gave me on the spheres. Okay. Let's pretend that this is as nice as the ones you gave me. This value scale on the sphere of the body should happen on these as well. Okay. But I won't demo that. Okay, now you need to give me a value scale on the details of the virus. That means this. On these tubes, I need value scales, okay? So these are almost like just mini spheres. I'm gonna have a light value, a medium value that goes about halfway across, and a dark value to get them to stand up off the top of the virus. Light, medium, and dark. And you should do that to all of your little tubes, okay? You don't have to have as many tubes or whatever they are that you have as there are in the photo. Just enough to give me a nice drawing. This is the last one that I'm gonna do that's flat here. Although, if I was doing this for real, I'd do them all, okay? Light, medium, and dark on all of them, okay? Now I'm gonna do one or two of the tubes here. And I'm gonna give this something to stand on here, like it's growing out of the sphere part of the virus. So light, medium, and I'm curving around the tube, and then dark. Notice that I'm doing cross hatching, which we talked about in your earlier prompts. So for the top, light, medium, and dark. Okay, I'll do one more. Once again, if this was my drawing and I was gonna get a grade for it, I'd have to do all of these. Light, medium, curving around the tube, and then dark. The dark side is on this side because the light source is coming from over here. And then the top, light, medium, and dark. Remember, this is a drawing, it's not a photo. It's okay to see your pencil strokes, okay? Now, over here, once again, you would do the value skill coming from here on the sphere first, and then give me the details of the value scale on the details that you have included, okay? These guys can just remain like your spheres and just give me a value scale on these guys with no little tubular things or whatever you have, okay? All right, now, I'm gonna show you a variation that is optional only. You can add color if you'd like. Here, instead of putting my value scale in pencil, I just hinted at it and then I went over it in crayon. I love crayons. And if you have crayons, I wanted to show you how you can use them in a way that's pleasing to you. My lightest value on my spheres is yellow. Then my medium value is a light, light green. And my dark value was a darker green. Okay, so that's three values. I decided when I was done that I wanted to give myself a fourth and even darker value, and I used a pen, and I did teeny weeny microscopic cross hatching. Okay, don't forget to give your little tubes like a little area that looks like they're growing out of the sphere. Okay. Now, I did not add the cross hatching to any of these other spheres. I started to here because I wanted to kind of highlight my largest one as the star of my show. You can add slight amounts or as many as much as you want if you decide to do this, okay? But it really it depends on what you want to do. It's almost like when you um, take a photo with your phone and you fuzz out the background because you want the 
um, thing that is most important to be the star of your show. Okay? All right, so go back to the prompt, follow the criteria step by step. It's exactly what I've shown you here. Good luck, and I can't wait to see you work.